Hooray for Hollywood! Hello there, I'm Stan the Movie Man. This is your WIMZ.com movie review. This week at WIMZ.com, you voted for the movie Wonderlust for me to go see and review. It stars Paul Rudd, Jennifer Aniston, Justin Thoreau, Alan Alda, Malin Ackerman, Ken Marino, and more. It is the story of George and Linda, played by Paul Rudd and Jennifer Aniston. They live in a trendy section of New York City. They have just bought an outrageously expensive, incredibly tiny little apartment. Um, but, unfortunately, George's company is shut down because of some probably financial irregularities based on the presence of the FBI. And, also, Linda, who's trying to become a documentary filmmaker, uh, her project she submits to HBO doesn't get bought. So they are forced to go to uh, Atlanta and live with uh, George's brother, Rick, who is obnoxious and rude and uh, really is something that sounds like Rick, but with a different first letter. Um, on the way, uh, George and Linda decide they need to stop for the night, and uh, they think they're going to a a uh, bed and breakfast uh, in a little place called Elysia. But it turns out it's more of a commune with a bunch of free-spirited uh, folks who uh, have uh, eschewed, if you will, uh, the materialistic lifestyle and uh, live kind of free and, and do whatever they want. Um, and one of them does whatever he wants naked. But just one of them. Kind of weird. Uh, anyway, seeing the naked guy and being afraid he's some sort of serial killer, they wreck the car and they end up spending the night at this little bed and breakfast and discover that it is a paradise, at least as far as they are concerned. And um, when things don't go well with Rick and, in his porta potty business, uh, they decide that they'll go back to Elysia and um, try it out. The movie is how their time there affects them, changes them, and clarifies things for them. Really was not going into this movie with a good feeling. Had a, a, a sense that it would just be silly and, and not terribly funny. And it is silly. Oh yeah, it's very silly. But it also happens to be pretty funny as well. Not that it has huge numbers of belly laughs, but there are so many little things, um, little quirky bits uh, from the uh, people in Elysia that uh, you, it, you, you just find your, I found myself just laughing, you know, just little quick short, short bursts of laughter, and they happen fairly frequently. So from, from the laughed point of view, it is, it is effective. Um, and the, uh, the, the denizens of Elysia are enjoyably quirky, not annoyingly quirky. And Paul Rudd and Jennifer Anderson are fantastic as usual. Uh, and by the way, there's a great deal has been made about Jennifer Aniston's topless scene. The way it's shot, you really more get side boob than anything else. So don't get too excited about the prospect of seeing Jennifer Aniston topless. Oh, by the way, to, just in case Jennifer Aniston ever sees this, Jennifer, baby, you're on my free pass list. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know, try to control yourself. All right, back to the review. Uh, the movie is uh, very entertaining. I enjoyed it. I don't know why it, it got so trounced this opening weekend. Uh, it, I didn't make that much money. Can't understand why. It's got a great cast, and it's pretty funny throughout. Um, it may run a little too long, but other than that, uh, and, and, you know, the quirkiness may tend to run thin at times, but, uh, I, I enjoyed the movie quite a bit. I'm giving it four guitars. Go to WIMZ.com to read my complete review, as well as to vote on the movie I see next time. You can send your questions and comments to me at StanTheMovieMan at ATT.net. You can also follow me on Twitter at MovieManStan. Till next time, later.